Good evening everybody, this is Ben here, and welcome back for another video, and tonight, I figured I decided to just make this video, but tonight I'm going to be showing you five of my DVDs that come in blockbuster cases, which I have five of them, and before I get started, I want to try to go quick, like pretty quick in this video, because last time I did this, um, the camera app on my phone, which is how I usually film these, it crashed on me last time, and so... I'm gonna re-record this, but this time I'm gonna go quick in case if it's something in, in case if something does get faulty. So I'm gonna try to go super quick. But anyway, so so yeah, all these are five five of these are blockbuster DVDs, and all these I got from the Salvation Army. So anyways, here we go. On with the video. First up, we have is the Bench Warmers with Rob Schneider, David Spade, and John Heater from the director of Happy Gilmore, Big Daddy, who is Dennis Dugan. Yep, purchased back in 2006. Three older dudes should be able to beat nine young jocks, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm going kind of quick in case if something does get faulty, but I, I'm, I'm going to just take my time, but I'm going to go in case if this something does get faulty on me, so I'm going to go quick. But I'm sure most of you guys know that. Has a bunch of these bonus features as well. Here's the disc. Has the Blockbuster logo. And here's the base, the disc, which is shaped like a baseball. My brother's seen this movie before, and he kind of liked it. I haven't seen it, though. Don't really plan to, though, just because it's, you know, very cringy, obviously. But I'll have to check it out for myself to see what I think. I doubt it, though, but who knows. Next, we got Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. This is another one that people laugh at and think it's very cringy. Which I will agree, even though I haven't really watched much of this film, and they say it's very uncomparable to the first three, but I didn't really think, I didn't, you know, this film I think was probably just a cash grab, even though I haven't really seen it that much. This was purchased back in 2008. No credit review, bonus features. Here's the disc. This one has artwork on it, which is pretty nice. So, guess if you hate this film, that's fine. I respect your opinion. But I like Indiana Jones. I have the first three on VHS as well, so that's pretty nice. I don't know if I'll do an Indiana Jones collection video, but probably not, but who knows. We'll have to see. Anyways, going on. Next is another one that people laugh... This next one is another one that people crap on, and it's another cringy one. And it's another one that I made from the team behind the bench warmers. That's right, The Longest Yard. This is the remake from 2005, starring with Adam Sandler, Chris Rock, Nelly, and the late great Burt Reynolds. Purchased back in 2005. If you can't get out, get even. You can't really wear that because of the sticker, but it's still good. Here's the side and the back. No credit review again. Has a lot of these bonus features. Also co-produced by Columbia Pictures and MTV Films alongside Paramount. Alright, again. Here's the disc. This disc does have artwork. Again, despite it being a Paramount release. Okay. Up next, we have Mona Lisa Smile. This one, this one I got back on Saturday. For those of you who uh, don't know, if you've seen the update, you are more than welcome to check it out. Anyways, this stars Julia Roberts, Kirsten Dunst, Julia Stiles, and Maggie Gyllenhaal. That's actually the pr correct pronunciation for, I like for Gyllenhaal, like Jake Gyllenhaal, because that's um his her brother. Um, we're going kind of quick here, but um, that's. Uh, when Jake appeared on the on the Conan O'Brien show, uh, he actually pronounced pronounced it correctly, which is Yeel and Hall. That's why that's why I say that um correctly, cause that's how they actually say say it well correctly in Sweden. But anyways, critic review, uh, best picture of the year by fans. More least a smile will put a smile on your face in your blank and in your mind by David Sheehan of CBS TV. Twelve ninety nine sticker, much like the Longest Yard. The side and the back. I can't read the credit review because I have the stickers blocked by the sticker purchased back in 2004. It has these bonus features here, including art form, college then and now, what women wanted, 1953, music video, Elton John, the heart of every girl, and filmographies. Um, yep, this, of course, this one actually looks pretty good, even though despite all the criticism it gets. The Longest Yard and Bench Warmers, I think, are very cringy, obviously. Indiana Jones 4, I think, looks okay, you know, despite, you know... Think it's the worst thing they ever done. This one looks decent. Looks good. Anyways, here's the disc. The blockbuster sticker. Same cover as the poster, but it's just in a different manner. 
different cover up for the front cover anyway. And finally, we have The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants 2. Amber Tamblin, America Ferreira, Blake Lively, and Alexis Bledel. Yep, same stint, 999. Also copious by Alcon Entertainment. Amazing, Remarkable, Chemistry, and Better Than the Original by Marcus Allen of CW Network, Sacramento. Okay, yep. The first, I do have the first one. The first one's rated PG. This one's rated PG-13, so that's kind of interesting. And here's the disc, and here's the movie. I mean, no, here's the, the logo, the Blockbuster logo, and here's the disc. Okay, that's it for my DVDs that come in Blockbuster cases. Yeah, sorry if I kind of talked really fast in this one, because I don't know if this, yeah, I didn't know if this video was going to crash on me or not, like how it did previously. But I did it quick in case, though. But anyways, I will see you again later. Don't know when, but who knows. We'll have to see. I'll see you again nonetheless, though.